would you like to see a typical like, range? They would like to see whatever your child is doing. I would say probably a minimum would be about five or six. Um, maximum, I've seen 50, 100, okay? But I will say that the one thing that colleges have said is they don't want to see just one genre. So if you only have great books, I would branch out, you know. They, they have used phrases like the New York Times bestseller list, which I look at and think, ew. <laughs> but, you know, they said it, and I'm relaying that to you. So I would probably go with a wide variety, make sure you have some popular modern literature and maybe something older and something typical and something not typical. And uh, we have a lot of chess books, you know. <laughs> I know other people that will have a lot of popular mechanics on their list, so. I mean, say multiple genres, but I, mean, I read some things that say they want more classics. And I know when I went to high school, we read all these classics, and we don't hit all the classics. No, so, you can't hit all the classics. You know, and so, I mean, how much of a balance between popular and classics and stuff like that? Well, you know, when you think about it, a, a typical high school AP English course like mine at Bellevue High School might read two books a quarter. How many classics are your children reading per quarter? I'm guessing probably more than that. Yeah. Depends. Yeah. So I don't know that I would worry too much about, um, you know, if you had a few classics per year, that's probably good. I think they care more that they have a balance of classics and more popular literature. So um, if, you, if you go to a, if you're applying to a great books program or a great books college, they may care more about seeing some great books but that's not necessarily the case either because sometimes they don't like you to have read the book because it ruins it for the teachers, you know, and they don't like it. So.